all up to the next chair of privilege and elections on the Senate, once we are in the majority, State Senator Adam Evan. So, good evening, Arlington Democrats. Do we have an important election coming this November 5th? Good evening. So, I am Delegate Elizabeth Guzman. I represent the 31st District in the House, which is part of Prince William and Fauquier counties. And in 2017, I was elected as the first Latina immigrant to the Virginia Assembly. I'm also the chair of the Freshman Caucus, the most diverse slate of delegates in Virginia's history. And I just have to do a couple of acknowledgements because this doesn't happen so often and my parents have told me that you always have to respect those who have supported you from the beginning. And not many people know this story, but when I decided to run for office, there's a gentleman here, his name is Mark Wesnitzer, and I met with him in Manassas, uh, out of a Manassas festival, we were eating pupusas, <laughs> and having a coffee, and he said, well, I heard you wanted to run for office, let's talk about it. So after we had a conversation, he said, you should do it. You should go and do it, and you will win. So thank you, Mark, for believing in me from the beginning. This dream. A couple of people like Walter Tejada and Alfonso Lopez, thank you for paving the way for more Latinos to run for office. Thank you for your leadership and thank you for everything that you do for the Latino community. Marcus Simon, man, if you're talking about a progressive, let me tell you, it's right here in Falls Church. And I, I'm just glad to be part of that group that we just stand up and fight for what is right. So thank you for your leadership, Marcus. Um, and Adam Evan, who, uh, that's right. So, Adam Evan, when I decided to run for office, you know, I remember I was right here. I came to a, um, one event that Alfonso Lopez was doing right here in Arlington. I said, let me go and check over there to see so I can tell people about my candidacy. And then Adam came to me and he said, are you running for office? And I said, yeah, I'm running for the 31st district. I'm running to unsafe the scattering of filter. And he's like, Alfonso, she needs to speak, she's a candidate. So let her have the stage and let her share with people what she has to share to run for. So thank you, Adam, for advocating for me and for coming to Prince William County to launch that contest for me all the way from Arlington. So uh, it's been an exciting two years. We fell short, we were two seats away from being the majority. But, you know, we never, thought what it meant, you know, even though it's a slight majority, and I don't know if it was shared before, sorry I came in late, but unfortunately Republicans hold the super majority in every subcommittee and committee. So what that means, it was really difficult to pass legislation, you really have to work in a very, very, very bipartisan way, you learn how to be comfortable with the uncomfortable when you have to advocate for progressive issues with the Republicans. But we gotta do what you gotta do when it's about your district and you have to hold them accountable. So now the next election has come in and I just wanna tell you what is at stake. I will start by telling you that with a majority, it is time that working families deserve a living wage. And with a majority, we we'll fight for a minimum wage of $15 an hour, basic days, hours for everyone in Virginia. You will have access to 40 hours of basic lift to go yourself to the doctor, to take your parents, your children, your spouses, because many of us are in the sandwich generation. Myself have to take care of my mother. So it is fair that we now provide that type. We expanded Medicaid, we have the Affordable Care Act. Now it is our time to provide the means so Virginians to go to the doctor, even if you work in the private sector. It is time that we Democrats believe that lifting up women is lifting up the communities. So for that reason, we're gonna pass the Equal Rights Amendment, right from the top, the 38th state. And I had a few days ago an uh, a debate with my opponent. He was saying that it's a mood, that it's expired, that there is no point. But let me tell you that after November 5th and July, on January 1st, we're gonna prove you that it's not a mood. And we don't care that if it's expired, we're still gonna fight for it because it is time for Virginia. It becomes a 
38 is safe. We will fight to keep our community safe because we know that thoughts and prayers are not enough and we need votes and laws. And we're gonna pass common sense gun reform because we are sick and tired of feeling, of worrying, of feeling fear to think about when we're sending our children to school, whether what's gonna happen with them because we don't have systems in place to protect them. Even when you are working in the government, there's no systems in place in Virginia that you can, I mean, let's see what happened in Virginia Beach, remember? It was a government building. So right now in Virginia, we don't have systems in place that will protect you. And many of us are on leadership positions. So sometimes we have to make difficult decisions and we don't have systems that will protect us. So give us, give us a majority and you will see common sense gun reform. Parisa. Happy birthday, Parisa. Woo. Woo. So Parisa came actually to one of my events in Washington, D.C. back in December, and she told me about uh, her intention to run for Commonwealth Attorney. So thank you for running. Thank you for running as a progressive because it is not easy in the Commonwealth. Take this from another progressive. <laughs> and you stick to your values. You just found the support that you needed to win the primary, and you won big, so congratulations. We are really proud. It's very important for us to have the right partners in the Virginia Assembly, because anytime we have to present bills on criminal justice reform, the first organization that come and kill and testify against our, our bills is the Commonwealth Attorneys Association. So we're glad that now with you and all of the progressives running in Prince William County, in Loudoun, in Fairfax, we're gonna have new voices. And it's gonna be a breath of fresh air for people who actually believe on the youth in the future of this Commonwealth. So without further ado, let me introduce you your next Commonwealth attorney in Arlington and the city of Falls George, Parisa Tafti. Yeah. 